I'm Taiho Yamada, and I'm the product manager for uh, Avid M Audio's new Venom. It's a 12 voice uh, virtual analog synthesizer, and uh, I wanted to play a few sounds for you. It's um, the main uh, the main thrust of the sounds is uh, a more aggressive and edgy and in your face. I'm going to start off with um, Patch 000 Venomous. sort of see the gritty and edgy quality of the synth. The synth can also do uh, analog emulations. It can do um, more delicate uh, programs as well. And then um, it can do some pretty odd, interesting uh, synthesis functions, like, for example, um, this sound, Fatality, is a uh, sync program, but the synced oscillators are synchronized to a drum sound. It's a, I believe it's an analog tom sound. So you can hear the synchronization drop out towards the end of the, of the, uh, the tail of the sound. I mentioned that there was a drum sound as the master oscillator for that sync sound. And there's a, a selection of drum kits from classic analog drum machines available. And they're available at the oscillator level so they can be uh, synthesized with. So I'm going to select another kit here. It's an analog drum kit, and the Wave Shaper is running on it. That gives you an idea of the overall sound of Venom. And uh, we're in single mode at this point, and I wanted to take you over into multi-mode and show you how these single sounds stack on top of each other. Now, this first multi that I'm going to show you uh, illustrates the synthesis capabilities while you're in multi-mode. You can have um, each part of the multi, it's four parts multi timbal each, each part can be um, tweaked in real time. And the parameters available in the performance control section are um, filter parameters, oscillator parameters, uh, the filter envelope, the amplitude envelope, uh, LFOs, and uh, some channel strip functions like volume and pan and send levels. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tweak some of those right now. So I'm going to play a chord, and I'm going to latch the arpeggiator and then start tweaking some knobs. Thing that you can do with multis is um, each part is has an independent arpeggiator and you can change the arpeggiator patterns on the fly. So I'm going to show you that with this other multi here. Again I'm going to latch the arpeggiator.
Yeah, and that gives you a, a sort of overview of the performance capabilities of Venom. And we also ship with uh, an included uh, software editor for all of the uh, parameters of Venom. It's called Visex. And uh, you can use it to arrange your banks um, and use it to edit your, uh, your sounds. The first page here is our oscillator page where you can see the oscillator waveform. And in a drop down men menu, you can see a list of the waveforms available. And there's a, um, a, two, uh, a two letter initial to each waveform. And some of them are you know, pretty cryptic. We can't really say what the names are because of trademark issues. But you can sort of tell what they are, um, like an MG saw or an OB sine wave, or not a sine wave, but a, a pulse wave. Uh, you can sort of tell what they are. Um, then on this page, you have uh, your controls for the oscillators, including um, some parameters that can reintroduce the, uh, the analog variances of the oscillators, like start mod will um, randomize the phase. Um, there's a drift parameter that will randomize the pitch. Um, and then there are uh, uh, other synthesis functions available, like FM, ring mod, and wave shaper. Um, you have glide available. You have unison. Uh, sync, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and then you have uh, you have a multi-mode filter both in 12 dB and 24 dB. And an interesting parameter here as well, there's a pre-filter boost to the, the filter that is, um, uses a tube saturation limiting algorithm that can be overdriven. And then down below that we have three envelopes with five stages. There's they're basically ADSRs, but between the attack and decay stage, there's a hold parameter. And then the next page, we have um, the LFOs. And you, again, the waveforms are displayed. And you can also synchronize them to tempo. And then you can see the, uh, the note value to set it at. Um, this is the modulation matrix here. There are 16 routes available, and you can um, you know, route things like LFOs and envelopes to destinations like pitch and filter. But you can also um, route one modulation route to another modulation route. Uh, and you can get some really crazy modulations that way. On the last page, we can see the bus effects. There's uh, reverbs and delays on. Uh, send one, and then to the delays are also tempo syncable. Then on send two, you have uh, modulation effects like chorus and phaser and flanger. Um, then you can also see what arpeggio is assigned. Um, and there are three modes to the arpeggiator. One is a standard mode, which is your classic uh, hold down a chord and it will scan through the notes. And then um, you have a phrase mode, which is good for things like bass lines. You can transpose them according to what note you're playing. And then a drum mode that basically doesn't transpose, it just plays the pattern if you've, uh, if you've hit a key. Uh, in multi-mode, this is where you set up splits and layers. You can drag the, uh, the key ranges you can also drag velocity ranges where you can have one arpeggiator, arpeggiator pattern at low velocity and a different arpeggiator pattern at high velocity. Uh, and a few of the, the multis in the unit will do that. Um, and that covers most of the, uh, the synthesizer, Venom and Visex, the, the software editor controller. Thank you. Thanks so much.